You and I have talked about hypertension before and um, while I'm going to link in the video that does have uh, the um, medical aspect of it, uh, what I did is I I had a, a few of uh, books that I had and, and I went online and I looked about, you know, what's primary hypertension, secondary hypertension. So I'm going to link it there, but that's not the discussion I want to have today. today I want to have a discussion about why it would why is it advantageous and, and what my personal story is with regards to hypertension. So a uh, good morning friends. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica and I engage in conversation talk about weight loss, weight related disease education, and how to achieve weight loss in an affordable way that honors your way of living um let me get that uh so um what am i talking about really in terms of what we want to uh why we want to lower our blood pressure a because really um the first line of of treatment for hypertension is typically you know weight loss um just because um that uh, we want to definitely get rid or rather we don't want to start adding medications um even though yes i am <laughs> i am i'm 50. uh medications is what we want to prevent through uh you know staying with your weight and and you know within the range and also exercise right so mainly blood pressure uh, can be managed through exercise and diet and uh, so once your blood pressure gets to the point where it is critical for you to get medications you get medications right so yeah um, in terms of um, what my story is is that my um, as I've mentioned before, my uh, I was pre-diabetic and then my blood pressure actually was the first thing that was wrong. I didn't do anything about it. Then um, it was until I had also my cholesterol was up and I started to be pre-diabetic. Now, interestingly enough, my mother um, had sort of was uh, in similar way, a lot older, so I was a lot younger and I had bigger issues. So that was a red flag for me. Uh, intervention, intervention. <laughs> so because of that, I decided, no, it's, this isn't good enough, right? So I need to uh, partake. The, so um, I saw um, Dr. Atia's, uh, one of Dr. Atia's um, um, TikToks and he was mentioning about how as the as your weight progresses down the it there is actually per um per age so how the, the your blood pressure is measured it just lowers as as your the the weight goes down so which fair right because my blood pressure was it got up to i think about 160 over 96 or something like that and it was consistently in that way now of course it's um 110 or one um um hmm, 110 over maybe 60 sometimes now there is a bit my family does have low blood pressure by default so um it it, it it went to how my familial blood pressure uh, my pulse is also pretty low but uh, that's we're not talking about that um, so why do I want to talk about my personal um, um, is uh, my personal um, journey is this is that had I uh, I mean it's never too late to intervene um, had I started with my blood pressure and actually managed it in that I wouldn't have gone into the fact that I started to be pre-diabetic because once one system goes off rails the rest of the systems go down 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 um, what does that mean is that you start with hypertension then you go to to pre-diabetics then you go 
diabetic and then that's where you know um the the rails start going off in, in terms of your health so what do we want to do we want to prevent because it's very hard to manage something you already have then just prevent it um that's within with chronic diseases right so yeah um that's all i want to say about that <laughs> so um the one thing i do want to advocate is for you going to your doctor and and just look measuring your blood pressure and saying to you, how can i manage my blood pressure because regardless of whether you do something about that is you need to manage your blood pressure because just because you say to to your doctor is um yes give me a chance absolutely go six months um but just because you decide to go through six months and nothing gets changed after six months or two after a year of you trying to get a hold of it it would it's better to go on medication than not so while i'm not uh advocating for medication or anything like that and i shouldn't be giving you medical advice what i would sh say share is that from my personal ex experience is just consult with your doctor how you can manage your blood pressure but but the evidence is, is that the first thing you can do is just start losing weight, exercising, and you will see some changes, okay? All right, so uh, I'll see you Wednesday. Have a good one.